as you can see this thing is fully gutted out right there's no pieces in here that can be removed easily that aren't part of the function of the car um or anything like that right so my plan here is to create a floor that extends from the trunk area here all the way to the passenger um footwell and it creates an l shape that goes behind the driver's seat <clears throat> all right guys first off sorry my camera keeps cutting off because even to give you a perspective of how hot it is i'm filming solely in the shade with like a fan on and everything and my camera still keeps overheating so um that's just the unfortunate reality of how it is so what we're doing here is we're measuring out um basically setting our first part of the base of the floor here and i just need to check a couple little things and we can get started on our liquid nails uh making things actually permanent or somewhat so let's get uh, started with it all right so what we're doing here obviously i'm parked on the road it's not perfectly level so i'm seeing how much of a uh, slope to it there is and there's a little bit so everything we measure out inside the car we have to make sure that we remember that that's our reference for level so if, if it's level it's going to look like that instead of in the center so right now we're about to go ahead and get our first piece uh secured and then basically once we get this um side leveled out how we want it to we're going to move on to that side connect them and then go from there you know this this thing is so uneven that it's just very difficult to be able to make everything level so having to put little risers to like even things out to eliminate all the imperfections in the floor but yeah we'll catch you on the next step what's up y'all <clears throat> just an update on the uh, corolla build so let me open these doors here of course this thing is notorious for <coughs> being broken all right so these pieces of plywood on here are just uh laying on there basically on the frame um you can't really see much what i have here because of that but basically you have the the frame built out all the way to the back all right y'all so here's where we are in the build um I don't have any of it nailed together yet. Basically I have just the base or part of the base laid out enough to put these pieces on securely to where they're not gonna break anything or fall over or anything like that. It's pretty sturdy already without having, uh, you know, putting, putting nails in or screws in or anything. It's not like the most level thing in the world, but at the same time, it's not terrible. I don't care. It's it's close enough, you know. Um, and it really depends on how I park too. So, yep. So basically, what's going to end up happening is this area right here, this piece, is either going to be removable entirely, or it's going to fold up. I think I want to put it on hinges and have it fold up. So I'm going to have to cut these vertical pieces here and basically attach all of that framing um, to this piece of plywood right here and leave, you know, part of the legs on the bottom. Because what I'm going to end up doing down here is putting a, um, a tub, like a shower pan, so I'm going to be able to uh, drain it to one of these body holes. And this is going to be basically uh, pivotable. Um, you know, I don't know which way I want to do it yet. I don't know if I want it to fold up, you know, towards my driver's seat or if I want it to fold up 
towards the back. The main reason I want it to fold up towards the back is because I could lean against it and kind of chill um, leaning against it if I find a way to prop it up. But um, the biggest thing there is it's going to be hard to access that area from the inside. So I really don't know what I want to do there yet. Um, but yeah, there's that. So and then this is going to be either hinged right here as well to have it fold up or I'm going to have it hinged along here and have storage underneath, which I think I would prefer that. So I think I'm going to hinge this on the other side and then hinge this on this side kind of as well. And then, um, you know, have some storage underneath and stuff. I'm gonna also insulate this at some point. I'm waiting to get my shower pan that I already ordered uh, cause I'm gonna put most of my insulation that I have under that. I wanna make sure I have enough to put it under that. But yeah. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna make these pieces um to be able to lay out this piece of plywood here because i picked up a jigsaw today and i'll be able to finally cut pieces like this out so i'm going to get started on my odd shaped pieces and stuff like that so um basically i'm trying to cut everything out before i screw anything together and yeah so um after i cut a few pieces uh, i'll get back with you guys But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing, but it's pretty sturdy so far, I will say. And I haven't even put a single screw in yet, so that's awesome. Um, that part I'm not too worried about. I'm a little bit concerned with adding too much weight in the car. That's a thing. What's up, y'all? Back here with the Corolla. What we're doing right now is we're just actually uh, gonna cut out the piece to fit here uh, to be the storage door. And we're just gonna, I've already marked it out, but basically I'm just gonna line up this piece of cardboard here. Um, to fit this area so I can actually use it as a template against the wood. And I've actually just put a Sharpie mark right there. I'm gonna get a straight edge and line it up against this uh, factory straight edge on the cardboard uh, box. I really don't have like a good working surface here, so. Try to make sure it doesn't move. This should be actually tight, right? She looks. That spot is looking pretty snug. So the next part is going to get a little bit more difficult. I'm going to kind of like trim it. Um, I'm going to trim it piece by piece. That way I don't like cut off too much uh, and go from there. That's the good thing about the cardboard. It's easy to cut just smaller pieces off. So. No sense in rushing it and wasting uh, the limited materials we have.
All right, guys, we're getting there. So I'm gonna go like a, definitely need to go like a deeper type of deal. It's gonna actually have to be like, <laughs> like, not looking too bad, ladies and gents. I'm gonna actually smooth this out and just make it a continuous bada bang bada boom you know what i mean that, i feel i feel like that's gonna help i would sit smooth all right all right Let's give her a look kind of liking that so far honestly i may cut a piece of wood out for that See how it sits. Could always trim it down. All right, guys. So about this Black and Decker jigsaw. Never used a jigsaw before, but uh, from what I read online, this thing is good. You just have to buy good blades for it. So I tossed out those blades, and uh, we're gonna throw some good like Bosch ones in or something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna get to cut this piece I traced out from this uh, piece of cardboard there. So let's get it. All right guys, so we got the new blade in there. Uh, like I said, I've actually never used one of these before, so um, the T-shank doesn't actually go all the way in. It just goes to the very first tooth, and then you're good to go. So, let me give this guy a go. Without doing that first. Okay. <laughs> using a saw, I like to unplug it. Just in case. All right, let's see how she fits. Yeah, that created a lot of saw dust. <laughs> yeah, that that piece is uh, definitely interfering right there. So let's go ahead and take care of that. All right guys, so check it. Pretty much got it fit in there. I think I'm gonna roll with that. I like. 